We look so silly. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. We are hundred percent suspicious right now. <laughs> You guys get anything? Egg, I see you. What are you supposed to try figuring out? I don't know, actually. I don't think he gave me anything.
You, Jimmy. No one's around me yet? No. <laughs> no. It's kind of cold again. Huh? It's kind of cold again. It's kind of what? Cold again. Oh no, I'm still warm, I think. Really? You get anything? It's hard. I was telling him, it's like, basically it's like static and then uh, radio station. That's hard to catch what exactly they're saying. But I got, I told him I heard 77 and Rose and he said that it's where he knows exactly which place and climb up to the next block. Because he just was following. <laughs> following along, and I was like, okay. So well, I've got nothing for this place to return tomorrow. Mm. Heartbeat, leave, and sugar. Donald Trump. <laughs> <laughs> 
Trump. I did not write down Donald Trump. Okay, <laughs> <everyone heard. laughs> um, wow. You guys are going to see how that all comes together. Guys. It's kind of super cool. Um, if you have a camera, go ahead and put a stop to it. So just see if you can Um, in case anybody comes through here, um, just because you guys get the point, we don't want to get everybody here. Mm -hmm. You know, so that's the whole point. So we'll see if something comes up or down the alley. Um, so here's how this, oh, by the way, the GMS tables, we're going to prove them out here now. Um, you're looking for an eight turn above. And the reason why, we have two lamp posts near us, mm -hmm. so we want to make sure, they usually go up to about a seven. Uh, mm -hmm. So we want to make sure that the eight is a solid. Uh, we actually caught like a 12 in here. Um, I think it's two weeks ago. I was thinking. <laughs> I don't know, you might want to hand it to Grant. <laughs> <laughs> I got 101 there. You did have that 101. That's pretty badass. Um, so, welcome to Philadelphia Alley. So, this is uh, where some of the duels used to occur for the city of Charleston. Every ghost tour comes down here telling the same damn story. I'm going to give you the same story, but I'm going to give you a few extra details. Obviously, things like the writing and the poetry and stuff like that. We've already kind of covered that, which is weird because I normally don't even bring that stuff up. Um, but, this used to be called Duelers Alley. Um, so, that was the name of it. Here's how the story goes. There was a doctor that moves down here from Rhode Island. His name is Dr. Joseph Brown Lad. In the event that the two people with headphones here, boxes are still listening and the song Brown Eyed Girl shows up for them, it's not coincidence, it shows up here all the time, it's part of his name. Now, Dr. Lad moved down here because he's supposed to get married to his fiance, Amanda. Amanda just inherited a lot of money from her dead parents, and she has an attorney helping her out with all of this cash flow. Well, the attorney thinks that Dr. Lad is just after Amanda's money, so he tells Amanda to get rid of that guy. He comes here to Charleston to prove that he's not. He's going to start his medical practice down here and make his own money. Uh, he's coming up behind him. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, so, on his way into town, he had a coachman. The coachman set him up to be robbed and killed. It's like having a really bad Uber driver. Mm -hmm. Every time I, I, somebody does something like that, I'm like, you owe me a dollar. I like to do it. Um, but anyway, so. Uh, the person, there was somebody walking by and seeing what was about to happen uh, to the newcomer and the, and the coach, and his name is Ralph Isaacs. Do those initials sound familiar to you guys based off anything I've said here? Rhode Island. Rhode Island. So, we, the Ouija board device that I actually originally gave to Olivia is the reason why we have it, is for this location. Um, we took it away tonight, sorry Mike, I know you're looking for it. Uh, <laughs> but uh, we were getting the letters RI on regular spirit boxes, so I got that device to verify it because it does give us letters by letter. Uh, we've had it, you know, only when I bring up Ralph's name though. So take that for what it's worth in the past year. Moving forward, Ralph tells the doctor, hey dude, I know this guy, the coachman. He's going to try to kill you. Why don't you come with me? I got friends at 59 Church Street. That's that Thomas Rose house I was telling you guys about earlier. Um, you could stay there and they'll rent you a room. You'll be safe and good to go. Well, the doc took him up on that offer and the two gentlemen became friends. Now, the longer the doctor stays here, the more money he's making. He's proving his point. He's not after a man's money. Um, so he's making his own and she gets wind of this from Rhode Island. And she's moving down so they could be married. Dr. Ladd then became known as the Whistling Doctor. This is why I hate the story and why I was going to take it out of my route to close it. The guy follows me around, so I decided to keep its origin story in. Um, so, every haunted city you guys will ever visit is going to have a cliche of whistling ghost. We all have one. Um, it's just kind of how this goes. Um, so, um, why are we in Duelers Alley? Why am I telling you all this crazy love story stuff when we're standing where people kill each other? Dr. Ladd and Ralph go see plays together. They can't sit next to each other because the doctor makes more money. That's the hierarchy of Charleston. He gets better seats. They go see Richard III one night, and on their way home, because they couldn't sit next to each other, they're discussing the new actress on their walk home. The Dr. Ladd thought the new actress was fantastic. Ralph did not. The argument turns into Ralph insulting the doctor's fiance, Amanda, back home in Rhode Island, and it got really ugly. They go their separate ways. But the next day, Ralph goes to his friends at the newspaper and places an ad in the paper telling the whole city of Charleston what he thinks of the doctor. Kind of a, you're a disgrace to society kind of bullshit. And Doc saw this ad, and he rebuttaled with, let's go to Jeweler's Alley. Somebody's going to die. We're going to settle. So, I mean, you could put that camera right up to the rod iron gate. Mm -hmm. Remember, you got to zoom on your lens. 
and with the light. So just get us some good footage, slowly moving back and forth. Kind of see what we got going on in there. <laughs> I'm going to give you a job right there. You're a stare. something pop up for us right there actually. Oh really? Yeah, it popped up in between here because the sky's up here oh, and I see it cut the corner there but it popped up here okay. and then it popped up right here and then it hasn't, I was trying to find it again. It's foliage back there, it's going to be colder than anything else. Okay, I see what you're saying. Anything like along that high wall? Yeah, yeah, literally it was like here okay. and then it went here. How's that camera working for you? Oh, that's a good shot. We had some really dark shots mm -hmm. without that extra light on there. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. When I was just using the flashlight. So right, right. Dark spots. I can focus a bit more. Or... And you're saying that like in the back areas right there, that's going to be your coldest? Yeah, this, it's yeah. going to be mainly because of yeah. the, uh, the ivy wall. And that. you said you were looking for somewhere around the 40s, right? Yeah, 45. <laughs> There's nothing like watching thermal imaging of a cemetery. Yeah, that's that's exactly really what cool I was shit. just thinking. Really cool stuff. I was just thinking like, yeah, nuts. Look, the camera that Sarah is using <laughs> is still new. Like that whole rig is all new. I replaced mm. the old camera that was using full spectrum instead. I went to um, infrared to replace the full yeah. spectrum. And it just works so much better. How are we doing on all the other gear we got going on? Nothing to me.
Let us know when we get up to about 10 minutes or so that we will wrap this up. Okay. Anything for you? No, just that one time, nothing else is fucked up at all. Mm-hmm. I keep trying to move back and forth, and then, you know, like, hold it still. Move position, but hold it still just to see if something just walks by. <laughs> Let me see how yours looks. Let me see. Like, and then there's a. Oh, uh, see if I can see that. Yeah, yep, yep. yeah. If you look up here in the sky, it's cooler. Mm-hmm. So you'll yep. see that blue dot. When the blue dot pops up, though, you'll see like a, a change in the. Uh-huh. Mm. The color going cold there. A minute ago, I thought I saw something right there, but then it was just off so quick. I think it was just. And we used to turn it back and forth and go back and watch it. Yeah, so when I watch that, if I find something, I'll do a screenshot and give you guys a play by play of what happened. You have a way to like that. Okay, that's not what I'm talking about. When I watch it on YouTube, I usually put it in. Uh, not yet. No apparitions, no. The thing I saw was that camera, last week, we Nine minutes. Not yet. Uh, <laughs> just a cat. <laughs> just a cat. Jackie always steals the show from me. All right, guys. Let's go. Yeah, Jackie's always around. All right, let's rein it in. We're gonna go back down to this ledge and kind of tell you what's going on here. Go ahead and put a stop on your phone. Like. <laughs> Ladies, can you hear me? What color is a blue banana? Perfect. All right. Turn your camera around. We're going to ask you to come forward. If you're around, we're going to ask about your line of work. So tell us about your work. We're going straight into it. We're going to the anniversary of a few things in your life. But let's start off nice and simple. And there's a loud flat in there. You don't always care for that. So tell us what you did for a living. Maybe what you love to do. And this is Nick in the middle. He's using the blue box. So you can give him an image so he doesn't fall asleep in it. I don't think it's going to happen with him. Henry. Henry. Danger. What's the danger, Henry? I'm asking about your work. Death. Okay, you can go 
with that. Oh, that's not the music. Everything. Everything. Okay, rock and roll. <laughs> <laughs> I can't hear anything, so I'm sure it was my turn to talk. Loosely. Look like you're almost like mocking him. You might want to slow down on like the waving of around. He's very temperamental. <laughs> Henry, we're testing a lot of different instruments out here tonight, so bear with us. Get back to your work. What did you do for a living? Calm down. Henry, that 
Pull things down. Light down. Passenger side. Trivial down. Sheila? Call on me. <laughs> I did. You should have jumped on you. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. 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 Session. And you guys can fuck the camera. 